Hello, Galaxy! I'm Chris Perillo, and I watch movies. Unfortunately, there's not enough time in my day to see all the movies that I want to see, and I'll often get an opportunity to rent a movie for free with a redeem code, and then sometimes I, I don't have enough time to watch that movie that I redeemed for free because I, I run out of time. There's sometimes a 30-day window in which you could watch the movie before it expires with this digital rental thing. But uh, now that we have a child... We have not been able to escape to the movie theater as much as we might have in the past, although we really weren't going out to the movies as much in recent years, if only because of the cost. It's kind of outrageous. I'd rather wait to own something physical, dare I say collectible, when it comes to watching movies. I mean, why spend the same amount or virtually the same amount of money on a movie ticket when you can walk away? with something physical that you can watch over and over and over again. Now, I know some people would say, well, it's the experience that you get in the theater with strangers in the dark and sticky floors and snacks that you're not in control over. Uh, I know, it's an experience. And yes, I do plan on seeing Rogue One. Star Wars is always, 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 always the exception to a rule kind of an unwritten rule around here. We just don't go to the movies. We don't. Both Diana and uh, I enjoy documentaries, really. And uh, I enjoy sci-fi and, and, and fantasy. Uh, I have a chance uh, in uh, the time that I might have, the extra time I might have at the end of the day, to binge on uh, episodic content that is non-movie-ish. But I still like watching movies especially when they are just released because the people I follow in social are talking about everything related to the movie, right? It's this blitzkrieg of attention, but I tend to wait until a movie is available on some kind of disc or it's available digitally. And even then I look for opportunities to, uh, you know, to see what I can do to, you know, possibly spend less. Who wants to spend more, right? So always, 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 always search for discounts and bargains on the things that you want, especially in relation to collectibles. So when an opportunity came around to talk about my picks for movies this holiday season in a, a gift guide for movie buying, specifically discular movies, physical movies, does that make sense? A physical movie that you could watch over and over and over and over again, potentially digitally. Uh, of course, right up there was Star Wars. They just released uh, the Blu-ray 3D edition of The Force Awakens with a few deleted scenes that I was really excited to see. Still very much excited to see it. I'm hoping that Santa Claus delivers that on Christmas morning for me. I don't know yet. It's on my wish list. It's a long wish list, very long wish list that's in there. Uh, that is one of my picks, but I don't have it, right? But I do have a few others that were sent to me. And you want to talk about being grateful. I'm very grateful for that because uh, the movies that I enjoy watching aren't just relevant to pop culture, but they uh, uh, give me a chance to escape. Uh, and I realize it's kind of weird to talk about loving documentaries, which kind of surface reality, but I enjoy movies that allow me to escape and, and not think just for a brief while. Just, just, just a tiny bit. So I'm not a movie critic at all. I, I, I don't really review movies. I don't. It's not, it's not my thing. I just enjoy them. I'm like, oh, okay. Cool. That's, it was a movie. Gave me a chance to just escape for a moment. It's how I view movies. Not in a reviewing capacity because I suck at reviewing. I just talk. So if you want something that's far more entertaining than me talking about movies and experiences with movies and what have you. Uh, very grateful that I now have a physical copy of Aliens. This is going to complement my alien action figure. Very happy to have that action figure. The action figure, however, was acquired earlier this year. You might remember from the vlog. Did not have the Blu-ray copy of Aliens. Now, Aliens is on the cusp for me. Yes, it's sci-fi, but it's, it's kind of horror. Too. I mean, it's scary. Aliens is kind of scary. Very scary, right? Do you know how scared I was that uh, an alien would burst out of my chest after eating some kind of pasta-looking dinner? For a while, I, I was. And then I watched uh, Spaceballs. 
it got, my fear was allayed. I was fine. I was good. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my ragtime. Is Spaceballs anybody? There was a scene not taken from Aliens, but, you know, this parody. I love parody. Uh, so this particular Blu-ray comes with an all-new featurette with director James Cameron. Did you know James Cameron was involved with Aliens? You probably did. I, I, I did as well. But it's like one of those little details you just kind of forget about, and then like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. No need to forget about it again. I do plan on making Diana watch Aliens because she hasn't seen it. She hasn't. She needs to see this. You need to see these movies because they're a part of culture, pop culture. Not just geek culture, just pop culture. Aliens. It'll explode out of the, the shelf, the virtual shelf, and into your hands. Like, here, should I just, like, pop it out of the shirt? Too far? Too soon? Okay. I'll move along to a superhero movie. Do I, I dare call it that? Not really superhero movie? Comic? Book? Movie? character very uh meta that that was the word i chose to use when i saw deadpool not this version of deadpool here the one that comes with a collectible uh the deadpool 2016 holiday photo card Let's see it's collectible there's a good santa deadpool uh very self-aware and i think that's why i like deadpool a lot this isn't a review but it was just uh breaking through what do they say? The breaking through the fourth wall, right? Meta? Is, is that, uh, I think that's the best word I, I could use to describe what uh, my experience with Deadpool was. Enjoyed Deadpool a lot, uh, but I only rented Deadpool for like 48 hours with a redeem code. Uh, Diana has not yet seen it, and I think she will enjoy it. She's not really into the action movie stuff as much as I am, but the humor is so dark. It's delicious. It's deliciously dark. If you've not yet seen Deadpool, you have to. People were right when they recommended, hey, Chris, you should see Deadpool. I did. But now I can see it over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. Mm -hmm. Blu-ray, DVD, digital HD. See, that's what I love about these, uh, the Blu-rays, uh, because they will often come with the ability for you to watch them anywhere, anytime, digitally, right? You don't have to repurchase. Love that. Love that. Uh, the next one on my list is now on the floor. <laughs> also one that I have not yet seen. Saw it teased. Very interested. I like superhero movies. I like comic book movies or movies based on a, a comic series, generally speaking. I'm not going to get into the whole DC versus Marvel. Uh, because, you know, I've got my favorites, certainly. Uh, but X-Men has, has been some of my favorites. Wolverine. Certainly, uh, one of my favorites. Uh, here we go. Professor X right there in the middle. I know him. Sansa Stark is in this movie. No, the actress. Katniss, she's also in this movie. Am I crossing the streams? I apologize. Not really. Have I not seen this? Have the redeem code sitting on my desktop to see this, but the time is going to just go by. But now I can take my time and watch this movie over the holiday. There's never really a, a, a bad time to watch an X-Men movie. I, I'll watch even the ones that I didn't enjoy as much just because it's just fun. It's escapism. It's fun to think about. You know, just live inside another world just for a brief while. That's why I love movies. I, I'm, not, I'm, not a, I'm not critical with them. Okay, so go. X-Men, Blu-ray. Another pick of mine because, you know... You're gonna, if, you, if you watch one X-Men movie, you got to be a completist. This is the thing about uh, being a collector. Uh, the next movie is one I have not yet seen either. Independence Day. Well, no, not. I've seen the first one. I saw that one in theaters years ago. Uh, this is a collectible here. Uh, this is uh, uh, the alien, one of the alien spacecrafts. Can you see that? I know it's, it may be a little dark for you. But I love this. I love the fact that they produced this. So much fun. You know, I, I, uh, uh, I love having these types of objects around me because, uh, not to say that it would be fun to think about an alien invasion, but just, you know, it's, it's uh, something that just brightens my day. Aliens here to destroy us. Brighten my day. I, I, that, that is very, now that I think about it, very twisted. I don't know, it's just something about it. It's it beautifully detailed right there. Uh, not just the collectible. 
but the movie as well. See, th to me, this, this is what I'm thinking, right? And this, is, this is where my head's at, right? Why just go see a movie in a theater and walk away with that experience when you could walk away with this experience? And that, to me, is worth chasing, worth finding, worth showcasing. Uh, and you don't even have to be a, you know, a huge fan of the Independence Day franchise, if you can call it that. Um, you know, it's just, you could be a fan of collectibles. Alien collectibles. Aliens, in general? Sci-fi? Fantasy? Independence Day. The spaceship. Speaking of space balls. Uh, I, I, uh, I don't necessarily collect everything. But uh, as I pointed out, when given an opportunity to have something that I otherwise would not have, I welcome it with open tentacles. The Cthulhu, the, the aliens, they have like the arms. <clears throat> Never thought that uh, a virus written on uh, a, a, an old Macintosh computer could topple an alien civilization until I saw Independence Day. Yeah. Just some thoughts, some choices opportunities for you to expand your library physical media is still a thing even with digital media on the cusp have them if only for collectible sake chase the collectibles that's what i say because mm -hmm. that's what aliens do right that some of them collect as they they go around in different places and planets to invade they collect right just to showcase hey look what i got a human skull i don't want to collect that that's not my thing this is just a, a I, spaceships See, it'd be cool, right, to get spaceships from, uh, you know, across the galaxy, across fandoms, right, and have a, a shelf somewhere with all the spaceships. See, this could be kickstarting a new collection for me. By the way, did I mention I'm doing this live for my patrons? They didn't even know I was going to be talking about this stuff today, but I am very happy to, as a matter of fact. I've heard a lot about the arrival uh, as well, but I'll wait until there's a collectible. That's, that, how do you get Chris's attention? Say the word collectible, right? And then, then for some reason, then I'm in. <laughs> it's very bizarre. Figures. Love the figures. Love the figures. But even spaceships. Uh, you may have different choices. You probably do in terms of a movie you would want to receive as a gift or give as a gift, potentially, if you think that somebody else is going to like it. I, I still remember one of my first uh, uh, gifts, movie gifts. Um, I'm not going to say who gave it to me, but I'm not sure if they quite understood me as well as they thought they did. I got uh, Throw Mama from the Train on VHS. This is back in the day when uh, uh, VHS was a thing. <laughs> I watched it. It was a gift. It, it wasn't a bad movie. I enjoyed it. But uh, it, was, it was a weird gift. <clears throat> Very bizarre gift. Throw Mama from the Train. <laughs> On VHS. Uh, not collectible. Unless, of course, you, you collect VHS tapes. I guess you can collect VHS tapes. Some people do. Okay. Uh, I've said everything I needed to say today. Uh, thank you again, if you are a patron of mine, uh, for joining me. And there are a few here and there are a few out there in chat world. Uh, I love you. I appreciate you. But at this point, I'm going to leave you to your own devices. Today's free highlight was brought to you by all of my active patrons from chrisperillo.com. If you want access to the full TLDR episodes, both audio, video, past, present, and future, which can be up to an hour long or longer, with even more tech insight from me, plus other bonus content without ads, and support me at the same time, <clears throat> you can sign up to become one of my supernomies too. This is just a brief taste of what I'm producing for you. Again, get more through chrisperillo.com.